वेलकम टू गौरव सरेना दिस इज गौरव चौधनेकर एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द ट्यू डायलॉग बॉक्सेस अवेलेबल इन विजुअल बेसिक सो दिस इज द फोर्थ ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ द सीरीज ऑफ लर्निंग विजुअल बेसिक ऑनलाइन सो लेट अस नाउ स्टार्ट विथ अ विजुअल बेसिक सो एज यूजल आई विल बी क्रिएटिंग अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ द विंडोज फॉर्म एप्लीकेशन इन विजुअल बेसिक so as according we will be naming it as tutorial 4 okay. basically we have a lot of dialog boxes available in earlier versions of vb we used to code it using the list box list box and other things for the open file dialog box and similarly you have to create a custom palette for your color that are to be chosen as your background okay so now let us start with it and first have a look at different types of dialog boxes that are available here so first we have color dialog box then we have folder browser dialog box then font dialog box open file dialog box save file dialog box so these are the basic dialog boxes which we can use but apart from that we have got a few more dialog boxes which are rarely used in application programs so some of them are page setup dialog box print dialog box print document dialog box and the print preview dialog box apart from that a print preview control is also a type of dialog box you can say but just only you can say so now let us start with the first dialog box that is the color dialog so as we have seen the timer which is not at all shown on the screen the same way this dialog box to go at the bottom and are not shown on the screen you have to invoke them using specific tools so the most common tool that we use is the button tool so this is our button one but before that let us change the form name to tutorial so then change the button name to choose a color and to make it a uh, look a little better i will put a label here name the label as dialog box so again we will be changing the font to say 20 okay that's good and then we will be changing its doc style to top Okay, so here is the dialog box label, and then we have got a button which says choose color. Now, what we will be doing? We will be invoking the color dialog box, that is the color dialog one in the function of the button one. The button one is the choose color, and then we will be applying the color to the form. So let us try to code it. First, we have to check if the dialog if the user press the OK button. so we will be writing if if color dialog 1 dot show dialog okay if color dialog 1 dot show dialog function it is a function if color dialog 1 dot show dialog is equal to windows okay very friend Okay, I am not getting Windows dot forms. Okay, I need to change something here. Form dot. Okay, it won't work. I need the Windows. So I will try with system. S Y S T. 
system dot windows dot forms okay i needed a word system that is in the visual basic 2017 it has been integrated within the system directory okay form dot dialog result dot okay okay here it is so basically this statement says that if it is a system dot windows dot forms or dialog result dot okay that means the user clicks on the okay of the dialog box which is shown on the form in the windows os it's a bit complicated but then that's it then what we have to do is form one dot form one okay we will be redefining the button button one dot back color is equal to color dialog one dot color now let us try and execute this okay now we have started to debug our application or you can say we have started to execute our application the build has been started now what we are expected expecting this code to do is to apply a color which the user selects to the background of the button okay the build has been successfully done now let us see whether the code runs as we demand the diagnostics tools are starting here okay our small form has been shown now let us click on choose a color okay the color palette has been shown here it has only a basic color palette also it has got a custom color palette where you can choose the shade you want adjust it according to you and then click to add custom colors now let us see what happens if i click on ok ok the background of the button got changed now let us try it with basic color green when it is changing that's working so the code which we have done here is working quite too good the background of the button is changing again now right okay it's not at all bad it's changing changing and changing each color i apply is being shown up there okay so using a color dialog box was a pretty good option to apply it to the background now let us try with another dialog box let us decide which one to start with so before moving on to the next dialog box first let us have a brief about it so using a color dialog box you can create n number of things that is you can apply a color to the background not from the user end but also you can give it statically if you want multiple program interaction or multiple application interaction okay then here you have got color default color as black you can change it to any color which will be given as default then you have full open is false you can give it as true let us see what happens with full open as true i guess the custom palette 2 will be shown as soon as i click on choose a color so here it is in the previous way i have to click on define custom colors but it came out automatically so it won't be an issue even though it remained false now that's nothing to do with it allow full open is true now let us change allow full open is false now what happens if i allow full open is also false so i assume uh, if allow full open is false only basic colors are to be shown and the user can choose only from the basic colors and he cannot define any kind of custom colors so this is the difference between full open in the full open either a normal window is shown then the second is you can expand it if you require and the third one is that a full window is shown okay it's not a window actually it's a dialog box i'm sorry for the mistake but yes it is shown in the three categories now let us move on to the next available dialog so now we will be doing open file dialog okay now let us drag and drop the open file dialog box okay here it is now we will be using the open file dialog box using now let us say here is text box okay i have added a rich text box here 
and then again a button okay now using this button i will open a file i will show you i will show the text of the file in this rich text box okay so now what we will be doing is we will be coding the open file dialog box in such a way that it can read the file okay so now what in the same way we have to do it using the if condition if open file dialog one dot show dialog function is equal to system dot windows dot forms dot dialog result dot okay then then what should happen then i will be requiring a file reader that is a stream reader to reload the contents of the file so i will be declaring a variable name sr that is a stream reader as new system dot io dot stream reader in bracket open file dialog one dot file name so basically the file name will be given as the input parameter that is the path to open the file and it will be stored in sr now we have taken a rich text box to display it out so we will be coding it as rich text box one dot text is equal to sr dot read to end okay you can read one one line by line also but i will be requiring the whole and then finally we have to use the sr dot close method okay there are no errors now let us see whether this executes or not now what we are expected to do from this code is to open up a file and display its text in this rich text box now i have created a file on the desktop named tutorial 4 and now see here it is welcome to gaurav's arena the text in the file on the desktop let us once more open it so this is this pc and desktop and with on the desktop we have got a tutorial 4.txt file and as i am opening it it shows me welcome to gaurav's arena now let us go and see it on the desktop whether the same file exists or not so the tutorial 4 file says welcome to gaurav's arena now let us type something extra this is tutorial 4 i have saved the file and i have closed it now once again try to open the file i clicked on open file tutorial 4 and the next line as it is this is tutorial number 4 has been shown up in our application so the code we have written here works very well with it and we are able to read the file from it i mean the content in the file which we have clicked of which we have got after clicking on the open file dialog one so basically these are the two different types of dialog boxes now let us try to change something new okay so we have again went to the dialog box and now we will be doing some experiments with the font dialog box so as similar i will copy this paste this here i will rename it to text as change font okay and in the previous code where it was button one dot back color i will replace this with rich text box one dot four color okay so now i will be changing the font now let us try to code for how to change the font if okay what's the name of it its name is font dialog one so if font dialog one dot show dialog method the show dialog method is equal to system dot windows dot forms dot dialog result dot okay if this is it then 
rich text box one dot font is equal to font dialog one dot font. Now let us see whether it works or not. Now first of all I will open up a file here, the same tutorial for file. Then I have clicked on the change font and it is taking a too long to open. Okay, I thought it would be giving me an error. Actually, I will click on the initial oblique. The font size will be 14. And then I clicked on okay. And the font has been successfully changed in the rich text box one. Once more, let us try changing the font. I will go to monotype cursive, I will in bold and 26 and that's okay. And the font has been changed and a new vertical scroller has been added to the text box. Why? Okay, now let us try changing the color and I will change the color to red. And Okay, and so the color has been changed to red. Now let us once more change the font to something new. And I will try WrestleMania and in regular style, font size is 26 and OK. So here the font size has been changed again. OK, so basically all of the fonts available in my, my library, you can see that I have installed, are all working out there. So now I will try this other knife. Uh, it's regular, size is 18 and OK. So this font has been changed again saying that welcome to the arena this is tutorial number 4 it is quite difficult to read but never matter we have got a lot of other customization options here you can even choose some other files that we have available here so that's it for the dialog boxes the base all the basic required dialog box that is the open file dialog box the similar is the save file dialog box it is almost similar you don't have extra efforts to be do with, done with that and then we have done here the uh, font dialog box and the color dialog box the remaining dialog box is the folder browser dialog box which no one uses nowadays as you have got n number of utilities available and the uh, printing dialog box are very, very rarely used and i won't be covering the printing dialog box in this tutorial as such but this dialog boxes will be covered up in a specialized video for the printing using visual basic so that's it for now i have tried to cover up all of the points for the dialog box i hope this helps you try it on your own and see you in my next video my next video will be about the database connectivity in visual basic so till then see ya thank you